it's been really enjoyable. It's been really good to hear different sides of the story. I'd uh, like to uh, congratulate you all on the uh, submissions that you made and the ideas that you came up with. Go! <laughs> you better start shouting! Come on again! Do and if you're going to add more and more, it's going to create more pollution and more problems. We do care about the environment, but the environmental impacts aren't as big as the national and local campaigners are saying. They're real experts, they're doing this all the time. Please ask them questions, listen to what they've got to say. They will help you to formulate your arguments. Really? Guys, guys, They didn't quite seem to listen to us. They were always protesting and moaning and not listening really to what we were trying to say. debate in the BGS today. Some stakeholders are against and there are some who have already made up their minds and we are going to find out who thinks what. Good morning from Central News. It's decision day today for hundreds of villagers facing a massive new quarry development near their homes. Regulators will decide this afternoon whether to support the plan to extract nearly 13 million tonnes of rock from the site on the edge of the National Park. Supporters say the plan is vital for both local and national economies. But protesters say it's one quarry too far. position is on the quarry today? Um, I'm for it. Um, we're against the quarry because we think that um, there's been dangers in the past with dust pollution and we can't really trust that they're going to guarantee our safety again. So it's um, not good for families. Excuse me, um, could you just uh, tell me why you're building the quarry on this site? Why? Because, <laughs> because uh, it's, the best, it's one of the best areas of limestone in the country. It provides jobs for the community and it will improve the standard of living in the whole area. Because of the dust. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you're right, Amy, and I'm with Shawnee here. He's a national campaigner. We've heard from the locals, now let's hear from the nationals. So, what is your view on this quarry thing? We believe that the quarry should not go ahead based on three facts. One, the quarry we believe is going to produce CO2 through many factors, including transportation and the actual quarry itself. We believe that tourism will be affected uh, in many ways, it will disrupt the local community, and also, um, we believe that the quarry actually does not have sufficient ideas about how they're going to restore the quarry or how exactly uh, they're going to excavate this quarry because they haven't researched it through and they don't have the test to back it up. And I'm with Mark here from the Parish Council. So how's your meetings gone? Uh, well, the first meeting with the mineral organisation was really interrupted by the national and local campaigners, which was, you know, quite irritating really because we did try to listen to their points, but overall we were quite happy with what they said. Do you think you're swaying one way at all? Uh, me personally or the group? Either. No. No? Not no. at all? No. Oh, all, right then. Yet. Oh, all right then. No. Okay, we'll just have to see for the verdict then, I guess. We're bound by the rules of evidence to take into account only the arguments presented to us. So our outcome uh, of the case will depend entirely on the quality of the arguments that you bring this afternoon. We use limestone in toothpaste. We, it's needed in industrial processes. So it's very important, and especially as um, like regarding this location, the limestone here is very pure and you'd be hard pressed to find limestone of such quality anywhere else. We've listened to the parish council, um, we've listened to what the mineral company have had to say um, and however we have not been satisfied with the level of information that has been supplied to us by the mineral company. Um, I know this may sound a little bit selfish but our village has already had a quarry for 25 years and we were quite looking forward to the end of that and now they've gone and extended it again so it may seem selfish but I think somewhere else should have it because it's not fair. <laughs> Thank you all for your contributions. Um, we will take your evidence and consider it in private and come back uh, uh, as soon as we can with our verdict on the uh, excellent contributions you've all made, for which many thanks. Very quickly, yes or no, is it going to happen? 
Of course. Absolutely not. Yes. Definitely. No. Maybe. Yes. Um, but <clears throat> overall, we were um, impressed by the arguments and we have come to the conclusion that planning permission should be granted for this quarry subject to all the conditions which I've outlined. Thank you. I was a bit shocked to be honest, it's disgusting really how it got approved, I think we gave sufficient evidence to deny it, I don't think it should have gone through. Yeah, big success, best team won which I was on. I, th I think it's probably fair. I was quite pleased with that actually, secretly, even though it wasn't supposed to be, because yeah, I thought they really took into consideration everyone's point of view. Um, Bad, I was local campaigning. So. I was media so I didn't really care. I was in it for the money. <laughs> I'm here with Andrew Bloodworth from the BGS. How do you think the day's gone and what's been the highlight of your day? It's gone fantastically well today. I think everyone's enjoyed themselves. I think the highlight of the day for me was the, the bit we had this morning where the minerals company were trying to do their presentation and, and the protesters were in the background barracking them and they realised, they were realising, the minerals company were realising how difficult it was to, to, to uh, make your arguments in a calm and coherent way when somebody's shouting in your ear at the back and waving a placard around. It's been a good day, yeah, it's been really interesting. It's been nice to meet new people um, and just generally find out about quarries. I thought it was really close to how it would actually be in real life. Of course, you wouldn't all be in the same room necessarily, but yeah, I was quite surprised with that actually, how realistic it was. I proved I can speak to a lot of people, which will be useful in the future, probably. I think it's been absolutely fantastic, the opportunity to work with, with experts who are so enthusiastic about um, helping students to understand the issues that are involved in the, in the planning process. It's been really, really beneficial. So why is it important for students to get involved with the BGS? Well, we have a, we have a mission which includes uh, public education and part of that is dealing with schools and colleges and universities and trying to help people like yourself understand uh, how we work and issues related to geology like you've been learning about today, related to the minerals industry for instance. Well, today's immensely useful on all sorts of levels. The young people we've had today, they're the opinion formers, they're forming opinions now, they're going to influence decision makers in the future. So if we can help them to understand some of the issues involved and have a more rounded view of things, that's helpful. We might actually encourage one or two of them to come into the industry, whether it's on our side as planners or surveyors, whether it's into the BGS or whether it's into the regulatory side. It's been a fantastic day, I've really enjoyed it. I know my students have had a fantastic time, they've really enjoyed it and they've gained a lot from it. It's educationally and socially it's been a superb experience for them. I think it's brilliant, it's something to put on UCAS forms, it's, it's something I'd recommend anyone to do. I'd definitely do it again if I had the chance and I think I'd come to the same decision as well. I wasn't expecting to be talking to some cameras today. I thought that was good as well because I think that made it more realistic. Well, me being media, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I learned quite a bit of stuff about it. I also just found it interesting interviewing everybody and using the equipment. If you had this opportunity, jump at it, and I hope the BGS can host a lot more of these activities in the future, these events. Do it. Yeah, if you get the chance, go for it. Yeah.